Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hi, everybody. How are you? <laughs> Welcome back to Royal Goobs, everybody. Hi, welcome back to Royal Goobs. All right, let's see. Yeah. Where we talk about sustainable architecture in mathematics. So, James. Don't click off the video. <laughs> what do you think about... Let's say all the words that will get our video taken down from YouTube. Okay. <laughs> what, you mean like... Like... Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Wow. So like, let's see. Uh, uh, Blaze it. I don't know. Uh, so. Wow. <laughs> okay, this part's this part's actually really cool. Dude, can you think of any uh, like games from this period that you want to see get remastered? Joe. Joe. Joe Mama! <laughs> Got him again, boy! Jesus. <laughs> I know it's funny because it's not funny. <laughs> um, from this era that's not already, Wave Race, dude. Wave Race? Yeah. Wave Race 64? No, the, the, the uh, F Zero. F Zero? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'd be up for that. Yeah, they haven't made a new F Zero game since, like, the GameCube days, I think. Yeah. What the heck am I supposed to... When did Mario Odyssey come out? Uh, 2017. So it's been two years? Yeah, holy crap, that game's been out for two years? Wow. Holy crap, that's nuts. Did that game come out after Breath of the Wild? Yeah, it did. It came out the same year, but... Uh... Oh yeah, Breath of the Wild was like March or something, or... Yep, came out the same... It came out with the Switch. And then... Odyssey was like November or something. Uh, Odyssey was October. October. So yeah, the game's officially two is years. definitely two years old. Wow. That's crazy. It feels like it just came out like yesterday. Wow. All right. Oh yeah. Boop bop beep boop 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 soup doop just to dunk my nuts in your soup doop doop boop bop boop. This is jazz. Boop 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 scoop my poop boop boop loop. Do you like my jazz skills? Yeah, of course I do. Uh, oh buddy. shit, bitch! Scatman. Yo, got, okay, they Scat should. Re got you asked me what they should do. They should redo Majora's Mask. Oh. Because they did it on 3DS, which is sick. But I want it on freaking console, dude. On Switch, that'd be a good game. Yeah, no, you could remake any of the Zelda games. Oh, you know what? We still haven't talked about. What? We still haven't talked about uh, Link's Awakening. Oh, I beat that. Yeah, what'd you think of that? It's good. I had some issues with the second half of the game. Why? I I feel like. The middle three dungeons, yeah. like that middle part of the game was my favorite part of my overall experience. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I don't know, for some reason that's when I was the most like gung-ho, like, like, yeah, this is great, I'm exploring the overworld, I'm going, I can teleport now, I'm going from place to place. I'm having a really great time, this is awesome. And then, the last few dungeons, I don't know, dude. There, there were some like BS moments that I that really turned me off. Yeah. Yeah, like it. I can't remember the name of the dungeon specifically, but there's like one or two po points where like, oh, well, if you if you jump off this cliff area, then you have to go all the way to the other end of the temple and teleport to get oh, back yeah. here. Do you remember that? Yes. Or like, you you need to use pick up a jar to throw it at this thing. Oh my in God, order, <laughs> In order to progress. And it's like, but I already just destroyed oh, all fuck the. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Suck a nut. It's like, but I, but I just destroyed all the oh. jars in this room, so I have to go. I have to go all the way out and then come back in and. Uh, uh. There are just a few moments like that in the second half of the game that really bothered me. But derp, skirt, burp, burp. I don't know. It, oh, it just gives you three fists. Yeah, yeah, three fists. But uh, I, I mean, the, the stuff that was good was really good. I gotta say. Did you play Link's Awakening much uh, as a kid? Uh, no. I tried to play it a couple times later on, but I never really got that far. I think I always got to through the second temple. Oh, okay. And that was it. And then I stopped playing. Dude, when I, when I first played that game as a little kid, I... Oh, cutscene. Hold on.
I love his design. He does look kind of like a duck. Wubba <gasps> lubba dub dub. He is Dr. Cortex's hair. Yeah. Oh my god, it's the black hair that's yeah. the- Whoa. Wow. I never noticed that. I noticed it. Um, just kidding. Okay, so I have a question for you. In I Link's Awakening, how stuck did you get at the beginning of the game when you have to go through the forest and the raccoon stops you from progressing? Oh, that's hard to answer because I actually remembered what to do there from the last time I played. So I don't remember how much I was stuck before. I, when I was a kid, I got so stuck there because it's like, what do you have to do? You have to go to the crane game and get some powder to spray on the raccoon? Wait, what? No, you don't have to go. No, you go and find the mushroom and take it to the witch. Oh, She okay. gives you powder. Oh, you, it's not from the crane game? No. Oh, okay. Maybe you can get it from the crane game, but you're you're solving it like the hard way then. Okay, well. The way you're supposed to do it is you find a mushroom in the forest, and then if you go to the other edge of the forest, you find the witch's house. Yeah. If you yeah. give the witch the mushroom, she gives you 20 powder. Yeah, I could not. And, freaking... and the witch tells you, "Be careful, this stuff has a very strong scent." And then the guy is like sniffing stuff, so you're like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, he gives you like this kind of verbal clue to get yeah. it, but I. I could not freaking figure that out when I was little. I was just That's like, fair. It's confusing. I, so because of that, I, I never got far at all. So I, eventually when I was like 13 or something, I figured it out. Yeah. But then by that point, I was like, eh, I don't really want to play through this whole thing. <laughs> but, uh, which is why replaying Link's Awakening on Switch was a cool experience. It, it was very familiar. Like the first few dungeons were like, yeah, I remember this. This is cool. But then the rest Oof. of it was like an entirely new experience for me. Yeah. So it was cool. It, it was a mix of like replaying. New and old. Yeah, new and old. It was it was it was pretty fun. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, dude. I, I like the part where you you get Marin to follow you. Yeah. Was that not in the original? I it was also in the original, I believe. Mm. Hey, did you know that like if you jump into a room, she like she jumps in after you and then she falls on your head. <laughs> oh. She's like, oh, that was great. Oh my God, Link, I'm oh. so sorry. <laughs> I like Marin, she's cute. She's made up of 15 pixels. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, apparently a lot of people think that that's like one of the, the all-time best Zelda games. I've heard that. Uh, I know someone who thinks it's their favorite, but a lot of the people who I know Damn who it. say that, that's the first Zelda game they ever played. Yeah. So they're like, Nostalgia! Uh -huh. And I'm like, yeah, it's not that great. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, I would rank it down, like, it's. it doesn't even make my top five. Would you say the Oracle games are better? Yes. They have to be remaking those next. For Game Boy, like, th those are the pinnacle. Okay. In my opinion. <sighs> oh. Um, But I haven't played them in a long time either, so... Hmm. But, uh, Oracle of Ages and Rod of Seasons. I remember seeing that they released two of them the same at the same year, and I was like, oh, is this just like Pokemon? That's what I thought, too. Is, is I didn't like realize the... they were totally different. Yeah, it's funny that they made two completely different games. I thought there was just like... Same. I was like, I only need one of them. <laughs> so I didn't get the other one. I bet you they would have sold, like, way better if that was obvious. Yeah, if they advertised it better, I guess. Yeah. Then again, you and I are not the, the smartest human beings on the planet. No so. way, Jose! So, you know, I'm, I'm sure, like... <laughs> I'm sure, like, 99% of kids were able to figure that out. Nope. The only reason I knew is because my cousin got, uh, ages. Or no, my neighbor got ages, and I got seasons. Oh, And I was okay. like, whoa. Is Was there any way you could connect the two games, or...? I don't know. I don't remember. Because it's not like you could trade Pokemon in no. them or anything. Yeah, maybe, like, you have to find someone else to complete, like, the big Goron sword <laughs> trading. Buy a Game Boy. Oh, God. In order to com- <laughs> Oh, no! At least you got it, I suppose. Oh! oh. 